Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Foxeer F722 Dual Flight Controller. In this video I'm going to go over its features, compare it with the Foxeer F405 Flight Controller that was recently released, and in addition one of you lucky subscribers is going to win this flight controller which is going to be sent directly from Foxeer and the giveaway details are going to be mentioned in the end of this video. Inside the small box we can find the flight controller and four rubber spacers that are going to enable you to soft mount this flight controller. This flight controller features two onboard gyros, that's why it has the word dual in its name. The left chip is the MPU6000 and the right one is the ICM2602 which supports 32kHz sampling mode. By default the flight controller is set to use the MPU6000 chip and shortly I'm going to show you how to switch in Betaflight to the ICM2602 chip. Unlike the F405 flight controller, which is using an F4 processor, the F722 is using a more advanced F7 processor. In addition, you can see that the layout is different. The F405 flight controller is designed to work with independent ESCs, whereas the F722 is optimized to work with a 4-in-1 ESC. And we can find over here a 7-pin connector. Unfortunately, a harness is not provided, so you need to find your own adapter, or you can just solder all the connectors to the pads over here. The right pin is the ground, then we have VCC, current sensor, signal 1, 2, 3 and 4 pads, and the walk-in voltage is between 10 to 30 volts. Just like the F405, this flight controller features 5 UART ports, which will probably be more than enough and will enable you to connect all of your accessories. The pads for the camera are conveniently located on the front of the flight controller. So over here we can find the ground, then the VCC, camera video in, and the camera controls. So you can just connect the OSD pin from your Foxeer camera to this port and it will enable you to control the settings of the camera. And I'm going to put a link over here to my review of the Foxeer F05 where you can see how it's done. The output voltage for the camera is selectable between 5 to 9 volts. By default it is 5 volts and if you'd like you can just desolder these two pads and solder the 9 volt pad with the middle one and then the output voltage for the camera is going to be 9 volts. The output voltage for the VTX can be set as well. By default it is 9 volts, but if you'd like you can also set it to 5 volts. So just desolder this pad over here and solder the mid pad with the 5 volts one and then you're going to change it to 5 volts. At the time of shooting this video, there is a problem with the diagram of this flight controller in all the websites. So the right connection diagram is that the VTX is the video out of the VTX, the V is the VCC, and then we have the ground. In terms of dimensions, the F722 flight controller weighs 7.45 grams, so it's about 2 grams lighter than the F405. The other dimensions are 36.7 by 37.5 by 6 millimeters. And as you can see, it is more compact than the F405 since it doesn't have these outer pads for the ESCs. By default, the F722 flight controller comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.0, which I have yet to test, and it is using the FX F7 firmware. In order to see the gyro settings, you can just type in the CLI gate gyro, and then we can see all the value that relates to it. In order to switch between the onboard gyros, you can just type set gyro to use and then the value that you would like to choose. By default it is set to first which is the MPU6000 gyro and if you're going to set it to second it is going to be set to the ISCM2602 chip. So if you'd like to use 32 kilohertz sampling mode you will have to select the second gyro so just type this command then enter save and then under configuration you can just enable the gyro 32 kilohertz sampling mode hit save and reboot and now it's going to be saved. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, it means that you didn't set the correct gyro, so just go back to the CLI and make sure that the correct value is chosen. In terms of pricing, the cost at the moment of shooting this video of the F722 is identical to the F405 and it is $40. I still need to test it out of course on the quadcopter and since the weather right now is not so great, I'm going to probably post a flight footage in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. Regarding the giveaway, if you'd like to enter it, all you have to do is just to leave a comment down below, make sure to be subscribed to my channel and turn on the notification bell, and once this video is going to reach 1000 views, I'm going to announce the winner. So I would like to thank Foxeer for sponsoring this giveaway, and of course, if you have any questions about this flight controller, feel free to ask it down below, and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.